Okay, I hadn't planned on doing this. However, someone asked for this, so I will oblige. In this video, I'm gonna do single and dual mining on Alephium and Ton, and then obviously dual mining on Ethereum with each of them. And in this rig, I have this 13060 gigabyte, which is a version one, which is kind of important to know. And then I've got three 1660 Ti's and I'm gonna average the results for all of them. And then I've got two 1660 supers with Hynix memory and I'll average the results for those and just summarize everything real quick for everybody who is interested in this. And i have using both LOL and T-Rex. I sort of bounce between the two. So just download the newest one. So this is the results I got for Alephium and this is on full 100% power. So sort of the best results you can get for hash rate. 3060 is pulling about 985 for hash rate, 168 watts, which is high. Not a great efficiency. The 1660 Ti actually does very well at 802 for the hash rate, watts 125 efficiency, 6.38 mega hash per watt. And then the 1660 Super is obviously sort of the behind a little bit at 746 for hash rate 126 watts and efficiency 602. And you can see I'm just using my normal Ethereum settings and then just push the core clock up to 110, 125 sort of range depending on which card it was. I'm sure you can get slightly better results with uh, locking the core clock, that kind of thing, but I was kind of running through this quickly. And like I said, that's the best I can, I can get 100% power. When you start cutting the power back on these core intensive algorithms, it does drastically start cutting off your hash rate. Okay, so probably where I would mine on these is at 90% power. And that would, for the 3060, you get a hash rate about 912 for the 1660 Ti, 745, and the 1660 Super hash rate is 670. And again, the best efficiency overall is the 1660 Ti, and it's the only one I was able to get to an efficiency of eight or better. So for dual mining, Ethereum and Alephium, I found I got a loss overall of 5.4 mega hash on Ethereum, which isn't too bad. This is at 90% power, by the way. And that gives me a hash rate of 415 on the 3060, 407 on the 1660 Ti and 261 on the 1660 Super. And just quickly at a, at a power of 65%, sort of dropped it down to where I normally run Ethereum. Basically I wouldn't do it. Um, it causes an 18.5% loss in Ethereum. And then I'm only getting about 337 uh, hash rate on the 3060, 343 which is kind of weird on the 1660 Ti, and 231 on the 1660 Super. I'm not sure what's up with the 1660 Ti. It seems to do fairly well on that algorithm. Okay, switching over to Tond at 100% power. The 3060 is getting 1,800 mega hash at 160 watts. The 1660 Ti is getting 1,490 again on average, with uh, average watts of 124 and the 1660 Super. Again, lagging behind everything at 1,389 mega hash at 122 watts. And just like Alephium, I found that this one probably probably gets peak performance around 90% on the power limit, although maybe, maybe between 80 and 90%. Again, core intensive often does a little better with a little extra power. So for dual mining, Ton and Ethereum, I found I got a 7.8% Ethereum loss. For the 3060, I got 1,365 mega hash on Ton. 1660 Ti, I got 1,023. And the 1660 Super, I got 834 mega hash. Again, high watts, and that's 100% uh, power on everything. So dual mining, Ethereum, Ton at 65% power, which is where I Again, normally run the mining rig for just Ethereum. I lose 18.5% of the Ethereum, which is pretty huge loss. And then the 3060 is only getting 337 hash rate. The 1660 Ti is only getting 343. And the 1660 Super is only getting 231 mega hash. So quite a loss at 65% power limit. 
Maybe changing your absolute core clock will help. Um, at 90% power limit, again, this is probably where I would run it. It's a little bit high, but whatever. The Ethereum loss is 9.3%, which is reasonable, but I'm getting 1,315 mega hash on the 3060, 965 on the 1660 Ti, and on the 1660 Super, 804 mega hash again. That's on Ton. However, that is at the cost of about 200 extra watts for the system. So at this time, I don't think I'm going to mine Alephium and Ton. However, if I did, I think the 1660 Ti proved to be a much better card over the 1660 Super. So if you're going to buy one of those two things for mining either of those or dual mining, I would go with the 1660 Ti. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.